So in this video, I'm going to talk about the components of fibrous connective tissue, but more specifically, the cells that make up fibrous connective tissue. And so in general, fibrous connective tissue is made up of six types of cells. The first type that we're going to talk about are fibroblasts. And so for anatomy and physiology, generally when you have something ending in blast, blasts usually refers to making of something. And so fibroblasts produce fibers and ground substance. And one thing I forgot to mention when I began this video was fibrous connective tissue is the most diverse type of connective tissue. But anyway, back to the six types of cells. So fibroblasts is one of them. They produce fibers and ground substance. And so the fibers are either collagen or elastic fibers or reticular fibers, which we'll talk about in a future video. And ground substance is just kind of a gel, gelatinous type of thing that made up, that's made up of glycoproteins and other stuff, which we'll talk about in a future video. And the next type of cell we're going to talk about are macrophages. And so it's important to remember that macrophages are not only found in fibrous connective tissue, but they are essentially, they're just large phagocytic cells, which means that they will engulf stuff and essentially like eat stuff. And they'll just destroy anything that your body doesn't need, such as foreign material. And it pretty much protects your bodies. So those are macrophages. They phagocytize foreign material. The next type of cell we're going to talk about are leukocytes, which are also known as white blood cells. So these cells enter from the blood. Um, so they enter the connective tissue from the blood and move throughout the bloodstream. And obviously the leukocytes look for bacteria and antigens and can respond to that. And so the third one is white blood cells or leukocytes and they are found in fibrous connective tissue. So the fourth type of cell that we're going to talk about are mast cells. So these cells are found along the side of blood vessels. So they kind of are just found, you know, towards the end of the blood vessels. And they secrete heparin and histamine. And heparin is an important, important anticoagulant, which means that it helps reduce the ability of blood to clot. So those are mast cells. The next cell we're going to talk about are plasma cells. And there isn't too much to it, but the plasma cells make antibodies, which help your immune system and your body essentially keep yourself healthy. So for plasma cells, there wasn't too much to talk about. Finally, the last cell, the last cell we're going to talk about, adipocytes. So these cells store triglycerides, which are just fat molecules. So triglycerides are fat molecules. And these cells are often found scattered in the fibrous connective tissue. So I don't know if you notice, but a lot of these cells have to do with your immune system and how it functions. Actually, half of them. So you have the plasma cells right here that synthesize the antibodies. You have the mast cells, oh wait, sorry, sorry, not the mast cells, the white blood cells, which are the leukocytes that help with your immune system, and finally the macrophages. And so half of these are related to your immune system function. And so that pretty much sums it up for the cells that make up fibrous connective tissue. And I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.